My dad's boots are old and worn My dad's face is tired and drawn But my dad's feet will meet the dawn My dad's walking on My dad's cheeks are red and raw My dad's legs are bruised and sore But my dad's feet can take some more My dad's walking on From Lakelands Hill to Eastern Fen 300 miles and back again We will walk and talk like men Three dads walking on Andy, Mike and Tim are three men united in grief. They each lost a daughter to suicide. It's the biggest killer of young people in Britain. And they want to talk about it. They've become three shining beacons of hope for suicide bereaved people all over the country. They walk and people come to meet them and talk with them. It's a powerful and beautiful thing to witness. Today we've come to Cumbria to walk with them and to sing a song. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm Sean. Lovely yeah, to meet you. Really, How's really it going? Yeah, right. good. Yeah, good. Good. Yeah. Nice to meet you, mate. This is David. This is my oh, oh, you doing? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey. I'm Sean. Pleasure to meet you. How are you doing? Great right? to meet you all. We'd seen you on the telly, and I kind of thought the first time I saw you, I'd love to be able to make a song about the place. But then when we were doing a, a singing weekend in, in the lakes and your brother was there and we were talking about writing songs about real people and what it's like and how it affects them. And he came over to the end with the uh, with, with your card uh, and the picture of yourselves and the girls on and he said, he said that's my brother. I said, wow, really? So then that, that was the kind of spur to say, right, I'm going to try my best yeah, to write this. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's then, very, very humbling having a, a song written about you. It, it really is. And yeah, it's me. Yeah, yeah, Everyone yeah. I know who's heard it cry. Yeah. Yeah. So well yeah. done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good effort. We'll try and get a afternoon to you, it. You've so, upset yeah. hundreds of people. Yeah. Well, we do that in <laughs> our gigs normally. <laughs> 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 I want our money back. <laughs> <laughs> it's no, really I think it's fantastic. Yeah, it's yeah. My dad's world was torn in two. No words can hold the pain he knew. But there was one thing he could do, so my dad's walking on. My dad speaks of all his pain, so all the dads might do the same. My dad will not be ashamed, my dad's walking on. From Lakelands Hill to Eastern Fen, 300 miles and back again. We will walk and talk like men. Three dads walking on. The original walk was inspired by the girls and, and, and to kind of reach out and to, to share the stories and to to help people to talk, wasn't it? I think talking is so, yeah. is so important I, I to think, your mission. And, yeah, so after we lost M and uh, Mike lost Beth, mm -hmm. it was uh, about three weeks after you lost Beth that yeah. you and I started talking. Yeah. Our daughters connected us through social media. Right. And so we're two dads in exactly the same situation or very similar situations, but 200 miles apart. Yeah. And the two of us, by the power of talking, yeah. very much kind of saved each other, if you yeah. like, from yeah. going in a very different directions. And we very much realised how the power of talking between people with yeah. very similar life yeah. experiences total strangers very similar yeah. life experiences and that's what you'd done you you'd kind of done before wasn't it so we'd lost self in uh, december 2018 she she'd um split up with her husband um and was going to go through a bit of a um, crisis as well but nothing that we we worried about it and because you just want your children to be happy don't you yeah. it had no concept that she was thinking of contemplating suicide so that came completely out of the blue and now our lives were, were shattered um, December the, uh, 22nd was when we found the body but the 19th we knew she'd sent messages out saying you wanted to take her own life so she was missing for three days but off the back of it um, when we're looking for a, a charity to support at Sol's funeral a friend uh, pointed me at uh, propose the suicide prevention charity I realised it was this talking about suicide and suicide prevention was the key. Yeah, I was in a desperate place, an absolutely desperate place. And But uh, there's always that feeling that 
that you do want to make a difference. I don't yeah, know whether it's yeah. a dad thing or whatever it is, but but you you do want to make a difference. And the more I learned from Papyrus about you know sort of uh, suicide being the biggest killer of under thirty five, and over two hundred school children dying a year from yeah. in the in the UK from suicide. Oh, I never knew that. Yeah. I, yeah. I absolutely didn't know that. You know, it, it's a UK wide problem. You know, it really is. You know, we didn't know each other before this. We lived hundreds of miles apart and uh, this fate brought us together. We do believe that the changes are put in through the curriculum mm. and, and people talking, smashing the stigma. Yeah. And, you know, we're raising money for Papyrus as well, you know, and that's vitally important because they're hope line. It, um, it's manned by professionals and every five pounds is, you know, we'll pay for one of these calls. And yeah. every call is potentially a life-saving exactly. call. These kids out there, just given a bit of guidance, hope, knowledge, and whatever, it yeah. will make a difference. But I think what's incredible as well is that the legacy that your daughters now have because, you know, you are saving lives because of this. M's funeral, there was six of us there and it lasted for 25 minutes because of the COVID rules. Mm -hmm. Got back home and my wife just, you know, broke and just said, no one will remember M in a year's yeah. time. And that was the so seed in my yeah. mind. Then I found a letter from M and there were two things in that letter that were like, well, hit me. Firstly, don't be ashamed. And secondly, let others learn from what I've been through. And if you combine those three, that was the, I've got to do something. I'm a dad, I don't know what to do. Yeah. I told you yeah. about it, didn't I? And, yeah, we, yeah. and we were like, we've got to do something because yeah. we've got to try and stop other people. If you could stop one family going through what we've been through, that's a success. One mm. family. That it's worth doing all this. Of course. Yeah, stop it for yeah. one person. Mm. Yeah. And it, and the number of people that we've met along the way who are, who are doing the same kind of thing, that same kind of mentality, isn't it? You know, that club club they want to nobody, help nobody them. wants to join. Mm. Yeah. And it's like you want to keep people out of this bloody club because it's horrible. It's mm. and if, if it, once you're in it, the last thing you do is want other people to join yeah. it. Bizarre things, well, we've made a lot of friends, haven't we? Yeah. You know, but people are coming back to find us and we're still in contact with them. We do talk to them as friends. Yeah. You know, sadly, it, it is a club we don't want in, want to be in. Yeah. But, you know, but uh, these, these are these remarkable people. And uh, the sad thing is when we meet these people, you just don't have to say anything because you've just got this unspoken bond that, yeah. you know, there's nothing you can say when you lose a child to suicide that can no. ease the no. pain. But just saying that, you know, when we discussed that about how you approach someone who's lost someone, a loved one, um, there are no words to comfort. But just to say there's no words is, is yeah. a massive comfort yeah. because yeah. that just shows how much you're all hurting. Yeah. Yeah. And we've certainly, since we've started singing the song, we've had conversations with people who afterwards have heard it, who've, who've shared, you know, experiences and, and stories that are, are, you know, connected to themselves or their families and friends. And, um, so it's been a real, a real honour to, to, with your blessing, sing, sing the song and kind of share your, your, uh, your story. You're, mm -hmm. you're doing your bit though, you know, by singing the song. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, spreading you are spreading away. awareness there. What we are trying to do is communicate and ask, get people to talk. Mm -hmm. And if you're out there singing about getting people talking, yeah. it's going to be saving lives. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. keep doing it. Yeah. Thanks so much, fellas. Well, uh, let's keep walking, shall we? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Get, let's go. My dad's holding all the while A picture from a simpler time A daughter with an endless smile My dad's walking on Three birds singing in the dell If he had known, if he could tell If he'd have caught her as she fell My dad's walking on from Lickland Hill to Eastern Fen, 300 miles and back again, we will cry and cry like men. Three dads walking on. There's a storm high on Crossfell, deep within the whirring swell. There's a time for love to dwell. My dad's walking on. The morning sun will melt the snow. The mountain rise, the river flow. And there are miles and miles to go. My dad's walking on. From Lickland Hill to Eastern Fen, 300 miles and back again. We will walk and talk like men. Three dads walking on. 
From Lakeland's Hill to Eastern Fen, 300 miles and back again, we will walk and talk like men. Three dads walking on. Three dads walking on. Three dads walking on. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, you've done me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaking again. <laughs> Give me all. <laughs> Absolutely. 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 Absolut